M0FXB Radtel RT4D working well here with my duplex hotspot. Just want to show you with the new firmware and the way you can look this up, you go menu, turn it down, basic set, select, then go all the way down to 31. As you know, it's 33. <laughs> version, select, and look. You can see it's version firmware 3.12, okay, 2024 it says. So with this, there's a new ability to change the zones easier. What you can do is assign a button first, so you go menu, like so, oops, basic set, then down to key define, select, always selecting with this button. And then we're going to use go down. It says side p side key one short. That is, or you could do long, but anyway. Or you can set any key really. But we're going to select that with the hash. Let's call it and go up and down. You can select several functions, as you can see. It's really good how many you can select. The one we want is zone for now, just to show you. And then we're going to select and then back out. So now with, with that button, when we press it, it's the button under the PTT, it takes me to my different zones that I've created. So you've got different zones here, and there's one there called Hubnet, and one there called Simplex. So let's select that, Simplex. And then back out, all the way. And look, the top, the top section is Simplex. Obviously it's A and B, so you can set both the A and the B. That's really good. And you know, a lot of people said, well, you can't get the database on there. Well, it's on mine. And it was actually on there from the factory. And you upload the GD77 CSV file. And uh, just look at the top of your code plug. It says something like import CSV. But anyway, this is about zones and the new firmware. And I have made a video uploading the new firmware. Bye for now, 73.